Uh, we got behind there in the second stage, just got way too tight and, you know, had a bad pit stop, got behind on track position. So it, uh, it sucks that we got behind because we lost some of those stage points, but, you know, we, we made the right adjustments on pit road. We were able to make our way back to the front. I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had a 10-point lead coming in here. Not sure where it ends up, but good night overall going into Bristol two weeks from now. Oh, yeah, and I love Bristol. I've had a lot of success, a lot of stage points won at Bristol. So has the 98, so has the 19, so has all the guys I've, I'm racing for the lead, uh, lead here uh, points-wise. So I uh, you know I feel really good about our odds heading to Bristol and Dakota. I'm really excited for Bristol and Dakota coming up, and I think we'll have good trucks. You've been here a while. I mean, you're not new to the truck series, but are you, you kind of still pinching yourself to find yourself on top of the points? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I am. I considering the before this year, I was only ever I think sixth or seventh was my highest ever finishing in points. So I, uh, I'm really, really hyped up for what we got coming this year. How much, how much more fun is this this year? You know, coming out showing this speed. You've been fast every single week. Oh my gosh! I mean, <laughs> compared to last year, compared to last year, if you would have told me I had to do that again this year, I would have quit. I would have got taken my pickup truck and loaded up my horse my horse trailer and headed to texas somewhere and found a ranch to work on uh but no this is so much fun i couldn't give this up for anything else in the world that finish was crazy enough with all the penalties going down what, what were you thinking what was your focus on the radio well obviously when you know those penalties are coming um it's always it's always just it's always better to be a little conservative on pit road i was actually afraid i was cosplaying on pit road because i came to the line too hot so i uh w caught it cut it real close there but you know what you know a lot of the a lot of these races just come down to letting guys take care of themselves and make their own mistakes the wind yeah the, the wind was a challenge for sure um you know your balance in three and four was completely different than what it was in one and two all night long and you can't fix that because you can't fix mother nature you wish you could you wish you could give her a phone call and tell her to knock it off but you can't so uh no we uh we had a really good truck and Body-wise, too, aerodynamically, we had a good truck that was able to combat the wind. It's a little awkward seeing you with the title sponsor for the race tomorrow. Anyway. Yeah, no, it's, it's weird, right? But, no, I, I love what Lane is doing for me and also for the sport and supporting the series that I plan to move into and, you know, obviously, you know, supporting NASCAR as a whole. Um, it's really awesome to see them do that. And, see, more importantly for me, you know, having all 520,000 laborers watching on TV and supporting us and NASCAR uh, is only added benefit. Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five-card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.